you have to fall in love with the process of becoming great. I would say I have fallen in love with this process of getting better every single day, and now it's just like what I wake up and I'm excited to do that. My name is Olivia Moultrie. I'm 16 years old, and I'm a midfielder for the Portland Thorns in the National Women's Soccer League. And I'm the youngest player to play in the league. I've been a professional since I was 13 years old, but I made my debut this year at 15 years old. I had my first goal and my first assist at 15, which is the youngest in league history. Olivia, tell us about your journey. Tell us about your life right now. You're 16 years old. Tell us about Olivia. Let's, we can just start from totally the beginning. I mean, first and foremost, I'm always a daughter of God, obviously. Um, we've always had this list, and it goes uh, our faith, family, and then soccer. So, I mean, no matter how important my goals are to me and just what I do every day, that'll, those two things will always come first for me. I love um, that you said, obviously, I'm a daughter of God. Yeah. That is powerful to know, obviously, mm -hmm. that that's who you are. In terms of just balancing life, considering how young I am and being a professional, like the first thing I would say is just, I always have this grounding presence of knowing that I always have somebody to pray to, somebody to talk to and you know, our heavenly father. And that's the thing that can always bring me back down from being nervous or feeling like I have a lot of things to juggle. And I pray before every game, like before the kickoff happens, I'll be standing on the field and I'll just say a quick prayer, like in my heart. And I have done it since I've been like 10 years old and I'll continue to do it forever. And it just gives me this one last like deep breath of like, I know this is gonna be okay. Okay, so the prophet invited all of us to gather Israel. Right. And the first group he invited were the youth. Mm -hmm. Why do you think he invited the youth first? I think he knows and the Lord knows just how big of an impact that the youth can have on each other, but also just that the youth have on the world, just our like light and energy. And I think we kind of just bring this like real excitement. So good, yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I think the youth have an energy and a power within them that makes a huge difference. The influence is yeah. enormous. When you continue to do the right things, when you go to church, when you read the scriptures, listen to the prophet, and just try to make yourself as close to God as possible, he reaches out to you. He sees the effort you're putting in, and some of the apostles have said it, and the prophet said it recently in an Instagram post, just saying that like effort counts with the Lord, and us trying to do the right things over and over again eventually leads to blessings. And so I just think continuing to do the things we can to be the closest to him, he'll tell us what he needs us to do.